Hi everyone. Once again, welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to create an organizational chart using eDraw Max. Before we begin, let's see what an organizational chart is. Organizational charts are the graphical representation of an organization's structure. Employee names and job positions are generally depicted in boxes with lines linking to other employees and departments. Now, let's create an organizational chart. Go to the File menu. Under the New section, you will find Organizational Chart and click again on Organizational Chart. Here you will find lots of templates for organizational charts. However, let's choose a blank page to create one from scratch. In the left pane, you will see a box. Drag and drop it onto the working sheet. You will see three predefined fields in the box. If you wish to define more fields, go to the Org Chart tab, select Org Data, and then the Define field. You will get a box showing a list of fields you could select. You can also define a field of your choice. Click on Define Field, enter the field, and there you find it. Select it and click OK. But you don't see it in the box. Now, again, let's go to Org Data, click on Display Options, and here you will see your custom field unchecked. Click the checkbox, and now, if you click Apply, you will see it in the box. Here, you can also change the font, the color, or move the field up and down as required. Click on Show Photo. Click on OK once you're done. Now, let's add subordinates by clicking on the Action button. Click on the Parent cell to choose a layout of your choice. Go to Org Chart, and you will see different layout styles that you can choose from. Now, let's add assistance. Select the box, go to Org Chart, Add Assistant. There you will see Assistance. You can also establish a connection between the two boxes using the connector lines. Right click to select all text, and then go to the Home tab to change to the font, color, and size of your choice. Now, right-click to select all connectors and go to the Format Data section on the right. Go to the Theme section, where you can choose different connector styles. Now, right-click to select all shapes. Again, go to the Theme section to choose from different themes. Go to the Color option to choose from different colors. You can also change the color by choosing Color from the Fill section. You can also choose colors from the color palette in the bottom section. Now, let's edit the text in the box. You can do it by double-clicking on the section you want to edit. Or, you can select the box, go to the Format Data section, then to Data Properties. 
Click on Manage Data and choose the field you want to update and enter in the value section. You can also add background color. Go to Page Layout, Background, and choose the color of your choice. Similarly, you can also add text. Go to the Home tab, select Text, and you can insert a text box. Play with the colors of your choice. You can change the photo in the box too. Select the box, go to Org Chart, click on Change Photo, and choose a photo of your choice. Once you are done, you can export the file. For that, go to the File tab, Click on Export and Send. You can choose from multiple options available. And your org chart is ready. Thanks for watching. To get the most out of eDraw Max and all of its great features, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.